الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام رسول الله ولا آله وصحابه ومن سار على سبيله إلى يوم الدين أما بعد إن كنتنيو ديسكاس نبوك التذكرة في العلوم الحديث by Ibn Malakin رحمه الله we're discussing concerning uh, this particular book that uh, covers uh, various uh, topics regarding ilm al-mustala <coughs> well, in a very condensed and summarized uh, manner as the author rahimullah had mentioned when he started the book so in continuing from where we had stopped in the last uh, session we'll be discussing at the author rahimullah where he discussed concerning tawarih wal wafayat so of those things that is also covered regarding concerning ilm al-hadith is matter that pertains to uh, al-tariq wal wafayat <coughs> so we'll be discussing concerning this particular area or this now as the author rahimullah referred to it as so regarding concerning matter that relates to tawarikh, which is the al-jam, tawarikh, that relates to, let's say, history. So uh, that's concerning the linguistic meaning concerning tawarikh, regarding concerning al history. <coughs> and uh, the ulama of hadith, rahimullah, that uh, they have all that uh, regarding tawarikh, that uh, they mentioned regarding kalamuhum fi ahwar or what. So with the ulama of hadith concerning the books of uh, uh, tawarikh, wal wafayat, is also of those books that they discuss concerning matters that relate to a reward. So some form of kalam or discussion relating to the, the narrators. So regarding concerning of those matters that are discussed concerning books of, uh, they mentioned that uh, tarikh, as they mentioned, that uh, is concerning that trying to gather information about a thing or a person. So at times, tarikh could be about a city, at times regarding a particular person or other matters. <coughs> but for the ulama of hadith is regarding a reward. So regarding concern, they mentioned concern that that is this, uh, discussed concerning that, you know, it's trying to gather as much information, <coughs> uh, uh, all information possible regarding concerning the narrators. Uh, so as for those books of Tariq, is Al-Jam Tariq, which is concerning that, discussed concerning that uh, and narrators regarding trying to understand where they were born, the time of their birth, the time of their death, the place that they visited. So discussing matters of this relating to the narrators. <coughs> So as for this matter, as the Adani mentioned, Tawarikh wal Wafayat, and also importantly, also discussing concerning the times of uh, the time of death regarding narrators, the time of death of the narrators. So regarding concerning this particular matter regarding uh, Tariq, uh, or Tawarikh, as he mentioned, that uh, this is of those matters that the ulama of Hadith that they give attention to. So the benefit of this is regarding that uh, of uh, known of Tariq, as the ulama Rahimullah they mentioned that by this one can be. Uh, clear regarding when narrators actually meet others. So knowing concerning whom visited where, whom he met regarding other narrators. So this help in regarding in identifying who met with whom. And with this it help concerning matters relating al ittisal wal inqata. So knowing regarding whether it's not it is mutasil, it's of a continuous change, train, <coughs> where that narrator actually met the person before him is and also it may indicate regarding that those individuals that it meant that they did not actually met. So that's concerning of those benefits that attach to uh, Tariq so to my claim that he met someone, uh, but then uh, is the books of Tariq who now give us a more accurate picture regarding did those individuals actually met each other. So that's concerning matter that relates to Tariq. And also, understand concerning when the, per where the, per uh, when the person, uh, the length of time that a person lived, that also helps to understand regarding also was he in the time period of this person or that particular individual. So the ulama rahimullah, they have mentioned many things regarding the importance regarding this particular matter regarding ilm tariq or tawarikh as mentioned here by the author rahimahullah. So <coughs> regarding concerning those matters that uh, as mentioned that uh, the ulama can somewhat use it to their advantage regarding concerning matters that pertain to ar As mentioned, لَمَا إِسْتَعْمَلْ ar الْكَذِبْ إِسْتَعْمَلْنَا لَهُمْ التاريخ. So uh, it is mentioned by uh, Sufyan al-Thur rahimullah, we mentioned al -kathib. When the people start to be involved regarding concerning a line, regarding narrators, they mention lahum ar -tariq, That we use against them tariq. <coughs> so when people start to lie, then uh, regarding concerning a matter that relates to the history of that individual, that, that was the thing that was used to uh, identify those who were liars and those who were not. So that's concerning of the benefit regarding matters concerning a tariq so you find many a sta uh, statement of the ulama regarding concerning of those things important for a person to study hadith that they should be mindful of as mentioned by uh, uh, abu abdullah al humaydi so as mentioned by abu abdullah al humaydi that he mentioned thalatha ashya min ulum al hadith that there's three things regarding of ulum al hadith yajib takhdim 
that a person has to kind of somewhat <coughs> be mindful of. Yatambihi, that a person should give importance. And he mentioned first, al-ilal. So of those things that a person regarding sitting of hadith, that he should be very mindful and study in detail. That he mentioned al-ilal. <coughs> also, al-mu'talif wal mukhtalif Also, things that relates to, as we discussed concerning matters relating to the narrators and their uh, uh, and wafayat al shiukh And also, thirdly, regarding identifying the death of the shiukh. So those are the things that a person study hadith that they have to give emphasis or importance regarding those particular matter. So regarding tawarikh wal wafayat, regarding knowing when people were born, when they died, to the best of our ability, as what have been uh, captured in the books of tawarikh. <coughs> then you find the ulama rahimullah that they'll mention regarding uh, identifying individuals who are well famous, that one should be aware regarding their time of birth and also the time of death and other matters that relate to them. So uh, in the books of uh, Musala, in this particular Muhtasarat that uh, is mentioned here, that uh, they have mentioned regarding concerning a list of names uh, regarding of those people that we should be somewhat mindful of and a way to identify what are the math hadith. Also of the benefit regarding concerning that uh, Mustala, regarding concerning knowing of this uh, matter regarding Tawarikh, Wal Wafayat, that you find that uh, Sheikh Salim Halali, Wafaqahullah, that he mentioned in his explanation of this book of uh, Tadkhira, that uh, he mentioned of the benefit, the various benefits that relates to this, but knowing this particular area, regarding you mentioned that one, Marf the Mutasil. First is the person being able, able to identify those hadith are Mutasil, Wal Munqata, Wal Mu'adal, that a person able to identify those hadith that are said to be Mutasil, those are said to be Munqata, and also they are said to be Mu'adal. So those are uh, being able to identify whether there is a continuous chain or a lack of continuous chain. Also with uh, the Tawarikh, that a person also can Tadlis, so of those things that a person can identify tar, uh, tadlis and also irsal that we have covered before. So we have covered regarding a tadlis and irsal concerning that you know individuals who may have at the same time of the other person, <coughs> but they did not, but they did not meet. So either were muasir or contemporaries, but there was no meeting that took place between them. So the tariq also helps to identify those things. Also regarding as we discussed concerning uh, a tariq. Regarding concerning that uh, other matter concerning uh, a tashif, regarding concerning narrators, wal nasik wal mansuk, and also dubt al rawi. So all these things that it relates to tawarikh and also wafayat, knowing concerning when the person, <coughs> the birth of the person, and also the time of his death, where one can connect him with other narrators, where one can connect him with other narrators. So as for this particular matter, that uh, regarding concerning of those important individuals, one should be aware of. Regarding concerning one for the narrate, uh, regarding the Prophet ﷺ. so that's the first of those individuals to know concerning things regarding his tarikh, and also, <coughs> or to mention his sira, and also his wafa when he died. Then concerning starting first with the Prophet Then Then also they'll mention regarding al Khulafa al Rashid. So Abu Bakr as Siddiq, Omar ibn Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, and also Ali ibn Talib. So knowing concerning those um, <coughs> important personalities um, regarding al Ruwat. Uh, from the Sahaba and the likes, also regarding concerning those who came after Aimat al Arba, uh, so Aimat al Arba will be concerning that uh, known that is wide among the most concerned. You know, Ibn Abu Anifa rahimullah. So when he born and when he died, uh, so knowing of his birth, around what time, what year he born, he was was his birth, and also around what time was the death of Abu Anifa rahimullah, and also Imam Malik rahimullah. <coughs> also likes of Imam Shafi rahimahullah, so no information about, and also Ahmed bin Hanbal, so no information about those four a'imma regarding the time of their birth or year of birth <coughs> approximately, and also their time of that, this is something uh, of uh, information that uh, one studying hadith should be mindful of and concerning the ulama in general. And also al -Qut and also next in line will be uh, uh, concerning that uh, Qutbu Sitta, so concerning that those who have altered Qutbu Sitta, would be concerning Imam Bukhari, <coughs> Imam Muslim, Imam Abu Dawood, Imam at tirmidhi Imam al nasahi or Imam Ibn Majah. So known concerning uh, their <coughs> time of birth and their time of death also is information or crucial regarding the study of hadith and matter that relates to known concerning uh, tariq of uh, riwat wal ulama. So tariq of, of uh, the riwat and also the tariq of the ulama of Islam. And also important individual regarding concerning that one should be aware of concerning any of others of the ulama of hadith that uh, one should also know concerning their tarikh and their wafayat. Of example, regarding concerning that uh, Imam Al-Tabari, Al-Mufassir, also Muhaddis, 
<coughs> wal faqi so Imam At-Tabari, also Imam Ibn Khuzayma, also Imam Abu Awana, also Tahawi, Imam At-Tahawi, and also Ibn Hibban, also At-Tabarani, also the likes of Al Ibn Sinni, also Ad Darakutni, wa Hafiz uh, Khatib al Baghdadi, and also Al Hakim al Nisaburi, and also others. Also, uh, so concerned of many of the ulama that one should be aware of them regarding their wafada, something of their history. And we have mentioned some of those ones that one should be mindful of. And also those who came after. <coughs> so we have the likes concerning that uh, Sheikh, yeah, that, uh, Sheikh uh, Salim Hilali, that he mentioned over 51 of the in, uh, individuals that we should be familiar with. That uh, he mentioned in this list, that uh, <coughs> he mentioned amongst them, we just mentioned some concerning uh, Ibn Hazm. So uh, Ibn Hazm al-Zahiri, also Imam al-Bayhaqi, uh, we mentioned Khatib al-Baghdadi, also that uh, he mentioned also Ibn Abdul Bar, Ibn Asakir, Ibn Jawzi, also uh, Ibn Qattan, also al nawawi also Al-Mizzi, Ibn Taymiyyah, Al-Zahabi, Ibn Qayyim al-Jawzi, also Ibn Kathir, Ibn Rajab, Ibn Malakim, Jurjani, also Ibn Hajj al-Asqalani, Al-Sakhawi, Suyuti, uh, Sheikh Muhammad Abdul Wahab, Rahimahullah, and also others that he mentioned, and also others that came after. So those are a list of the ulama of Islam that one should be aware of them and uh, familiar with those ulama and their uh, great contribution to Islam. And many of whom that he mentioned were ulama of hadith. So uh, being aware of those <coughs> ulama, then also of contemporaries regarding the ulama that we should be aware of that uh, uh, are, have done a lot of effort regarding Islam that he have mentioned regarding uh, Muhammad. Jamal al-Din al-Qasimi, so Muhammad Jamal al-Din al-Qasimi of more contemporaries <coughs> that uh, he mentioned also Ahmed Shakir, so Sheikh Ahmed Shakir of the ulama of Egypt, also <coughs> that uh, Sheikh Abdul Rahman al-Muallimi, Sheikh Abdul Rahman Muallimi of contemporaries, also that uh, regarding concerning the field of hadith concerning Sheikh Abdul Rahman Al-Mu'allimi regarding al ruwat and matters regarding Ibn al-Hadith that is of those <coughs> pillars regarding of contemporary times and also the ulama of contemporary times that have passed uh, of recent time you mentioned <coughs> a Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz also a Sheikh Muhammad Nasruddin Albani regarding his great contribution regarding Hadith also a Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Usaymin so Sheikh Muhammad Ibn Saleh Ibn Usaymin Rahimahullah Tabarak Ta'ala also in the area concerning fiqh and its related subjects and in general. <coughs> and also in the top, uh, also of those of in hadith regarding that he mentioned here, uh, Sheikh Muqbil ibn Hadi al-Wadi, so Sheikh Muqbil ibn Hadi al-Wadi, Rahimullah of the ulama of Yemen. So you find that 10 others that uh, he did not mention but uh, could be mentioned. So uh, these are some of the ulama of contemporary times that one should be mindful of regarding of those could their contribution to al had to Islam in general and in Hadith, some of these ulama in specific, so of those in Hadith in specific. So as concerning that matter that relates to tabaqat of ulama are concerning wafayat and also tariq of the ulama and mentioning concerning of those ulama who have contributed that one should be aware of them. <coughs> then after then, so uh, then uh, after then that uh, he discussed Imam Ibn Mulaqin Rahimullah in his book at Tadkira in continuing that discussion regarding matters that relates to Hadith and uh, its science. As I mentioned, وَمَعْرِفَةِ الثِّقَاتِ وَالدُّعَفَى وَمَنِ خُلِفَ فِيهِ فَيُرَجَّهِ بِالْمِيزَانِ So he discussed concerning that of those matters that relates to ilm al-hadith <coughs> and the science of hadith he mentioned وَمَعْرِفَةِ الثِّقَاتِ وَالدُّعَفَى So being aware, the person having knowledge and the awareness regarding those who are thiqat and also those who are the du'afa and then he mentioned وَمَنِ خُلِفَ فِيهِ And those that there is a difference with, uh, uh, regarding them among the what? فَيُرَجَّحْ بِالْمِيزَانِ And the person that he should make the tarjih based upon a scale, based upon a principle that is followed. So that's concerning his <coughs> introduction to this particular matter regarding matter that we would have to refer to concerning the person being aware regarding those of the ruat who are said to be thiqat and also those of the ruat who are said to be uh, da'if. <coughs> And those among the Ruwa, there's a khilaf between the ulama regarding them. So you'll find concern that now that's a very important topic that uh, is covered or discussed regarding concerning the method that he wished to, that, uh, to be covered regarding 
knowing of those, identifying those who are said to be the Duwafa and also Thiqat. And those that, there's a Khilaf, a difference between the Ulama, are they to be classed as Duwafa or they to be classed as those of Thiqat. So regarding concern this, this particular matter, that's a very lengthy topic, that this topic that you go back to, in Mujar wa Ta'adil. So this of those matters that uh, refer, that is a matter that relates to the science of ilm, Jar wa Ta'adil, regarding knowing uh, those narrators that fulfill the criteria to be said to be those that are thiqat and also those who did not fulfill those criteria, certain criteria, where they're considered to be of the duafa. <coughs> and the importance of being able can distinguish of the, the duafa from the uh, thiqat, where the duafa, one does not accept the narration, and as for the thiqat, then their narration is taken and acted upon, in most part. So that's concerning that matter that relates to this particular uh, matter. So, in brief, regarding the mention, so a thiqat are those of those narrated that they're able, as the ulama mentioned that, man yajma bayna al-adbayna al-dabt wal-adala. So those who are said to be, of the narrated who said to be thiqa, then that's the person who combines between those uh, that <coughs> are said to be those who are known to be uh, adala, that uh, they have concerning that uh, adala, regarding concern that, you know, that uh, their credibility, and also, second, regarding their depth, and also that uh, they are known to be of those who are somewhat precise and accurate regarding their narration. So that's concerning of those who are said of this. So <coughs> many things can be said regarding concerning uh, this particular matter, and uh, it's a very vast topic regarding al Ruwat. So I've said, as we mentioned, that a uh, thiqat, that of those narrators are said to be of those, man yajma, min rawi man yajma, adala wa dapt, man. Those who are able to combine between Adala, their credibility, and second, their preciseness and correctness in their, their memory. So, uh, <coughs> and concerning this uh, Adala of the narrators who are said to be Thiqa, are those of the narrators who are said that, that uh, Adala, that uh, those are said to be, that relates to a person's deen, is left of his application of Islam, his commitment to Islam, and also Adala regarding his general maru'ah, his general conduct and behavior. So the person who is said to have adala, possess upright adala, credibility, is because the person is known that regarding his deen, his application of Islam is up to a standard where the person is considered to be committed to Islam. And second, that a person also is known to be of one who is of a certain character. Uh, so that's concerning adala. So the ulama rahimullah, in discussing concerning the Bab of Jarwat Adil, when they discuss concerning adala, that they mention that the person generally who qualifies for adala, is a person who is a Muslim, aqil, so a Muslim of sound mind, tarikhan <coughs> al-kabahir, uh, the person who have left, who is not involved in major sin, qayr musir ala sagahir, and one also who is not continuously doing a minor sin. And also they mention regarding concerning ijtinab uh, af'al kabih, and also the person that not e uh, avoids falling into actions that are said to be kabir, actions that are not said to be uh, upright. And they mentioned that in, uh, in general, mention concerns, you know, that's con that they mentioned, the marwa, the person who have not per se lost <coughs> is marwa, is, uh, is, uh, is uh, good character. So the person who's, uh, 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 who have not uh, lost his status regarding being upright, regarding good character. So that's concerning those matters that relates to adala. So the person should be Muslim, that also the person have to be of aqil. Uh, as regarding certain aspect, regard uh, aqil, also that the person also that is not involved in any major sins, nor is he involved in consistently doing of minor sins, and also the person that doesn't that uh, have done anything to fault is marwa is uh, is <coughs> is uh, uh, behavior and conduct. So there's nothing to uh, have fault regarding his general behavior and conduct. That's the person said to have adala. Uh, so that's concerned so that goes into two areas, his deen and also uprightness regarding his deen and second regarding his character. And, that's make, and that is what is discussed regarding matters relating to the person's adala. Then the next point regarding a thiqa is regarding his dubt, his ability to retain the hadith, to preserve the hadith uh, correctly. So that's concerning those matters and we have discussed concerning a dubt in uh, previous uh, lessons. <coughs> then the next matter they discuss concerning those who fulfill that criteria said to have 
adala and also by this those who fulfill also they are said to have adopt then they are referred to as thikat they are referred to as thikat then the next set of that he mentioned regarding concerning al uh, ad duafa so duafa regarding concerning and narrators concerning atan uh, yes, yeah, fi inomen atan fi rawi. So the form of Abduafa, there's a slight, there's a degree of criticism regarding narrator. So there's a criticism regarding narrators. The narrator regarding is adala or is dubbed or man. So uh, duafa are those who are said that there's they uh, they are considered to be duafa, weak narrators, because there's a form of attack, criticism upon the narrator by way of either is adala, is credibility. Or sec or by way of is dubbed his ability to retain the information or a combination of both, where he's been attacked regarding both is adala and also is dubbed. So that's concerning those who are said to be or referred to as duafa. So that's concerning those gun tan fil al rawi min haytho al adala wa dubbed. Those are the ones who are said to be of the uh, duafa. So that's concerning those matters that have slight clarity regarding matters regarding uh, uh, known as the mention marfatu al thikat wa duafa min al rawat. So knowing be able to identify those who are said to be the duafa with thikat. <coughs> so with that concern that uh, matter that uh, the next thing they discuss concerning. So you have other matters that discuss, but uh, overall regarding that the matter regarding uh, the narrators that uh, one. Either narrators that they fall into uh, three main categories or four main categories regarding narrators. Those narrators that are that are said to be sekat, <coughs> those who are said to be duafa. Third, those who are said to be majahil, those who are unknown by way of there's not much information about them that regarding for the person to conclude what they are said to be regarding jarwat adil. So there's not inform there's no information regarding that is said about them regarding a jarwat adil. So they're said to be majahil. They are unknown. Or those individuals, the fourth category of people regarding those individuals that there's uh khalam that is mentioned, ma, ma, that he mentioned here, Mortelephon fee. That those individuals there, some discussion where their statement about them that is uh praising them and also statement regarding criticizing them. So the person who combined between criticism and praise. Then what is the person? What's the final? What's the final outcome regarding those individuals? So regarding concern that matter is regarding our reward. The next matter they discuss regarding uh, how to identify al reward regarding al thikat and also al duafa of concern that knowing asbab a tan rawi. So regarding concerning what are the reasons or what uh, are the circumstances where a person may be attacked or criticized. That ulama can use against a narrator. So of those things that uh, ulama have mentioned regarding uh, a narrator is regarding that matter that relates to where he's criticized and considered to be fat, uh, criticized that he's a liar and that's the more severe cases. So the more severe concerning al kadib so the person hadith is uh, he lies upon the Prophet so that's the more severe cases regarding a criticism upon a narrator. Then also you'll find that mutahim bil kadib a second is where a person is criticized for being Muhtan bil Khadib, that he's accused of lying. Where that meant what is meant that he uh, doesn't lie upon the Prophet, Islam, but he lies up in his speech in general. So when he speaks with the people, he will lie. But as for the Prophet, Islam, he does not lie. So that's a person that uh, is considered to be Muhtan bil Khadib, a person accused of lying. Then also you have case concerning that uh, Fush al Ghalat, the person he uh, makes uh, errors severely. So severe. Error, um, uh, uh, making of errors, then that would be a reason to dismiss that narrator and class him to be uh, daif. Also, al ghafla the person is not, not very mindful, he's heedless. So, regarding concern, I mentioned regarding concerning that, that person, that uh, al ghafla at times narrated hadith as being upon the Prophet, -Islam, at times narrated hadith upon a Sahabi. So, you find those uh, false, and that he is per se, that um, is very precise regarding is the narr narration. At times the hadith is muqtasil, at times the hadith is munqata. So you find those differences occur, that the hadith is not being mentioned precisely. So that's concerning al ghafla It's not very precise. Uh, so that's after the criticism of the hadith. And also another reason could be a fisk, where the persons uh, are criticized regarding matters relating to is adala, which is al fisk 
that he's not said to be an upright Muslim. He's not said to be an upright Muslim regarding his level of practice. So, uh, the one that was uh, so regarding concerning uh, the person's adala, fisk is a reason. Also, the person may be criticized concerning of bidah. So, some uh, so the, ul uh, of the ulama at times may criticize a narrator and hold him to be weak because he has fallen into acts of bidah. So, his hadith are dismissed because al bidah then it, um, it, that, uh, it have an impact upon his adala, it have an impact upon his credibility. And also al-wahm, and also mukhalafa. So the person also might have cases where he have uh, uh, mukhalafa, where that narrator is going against others, especially a person going against those who are thiqat. So when a person is contradicting other narrators who are said to be thiqat, then this is, can be a, a area of, uh, that's a, a problematic area. And that should be a reason for the person to be, uh, to be classed, to be daif. And also, again, Sul Hif, the person's memory also is very weak. Uh, so that's also a fun reason. Jahala, the person's unknown information. There's not uh, information about the person uh, regarding a Jarwat Adil. So he said to uh, be of Majhul, which is called, referred to as Jahala. And also, Khawar uh, Mamurwa, the person also at times may be uh, criticized because of his conduct and behavior is not uh, acceptable. His conduct and behavior is uh, unacceptable uh, so based upon this then he's attacked and his narrators is attacked for this and his narrator is not accepted but the person may be upright regarding his deen but his character in certain things is not to the standard that it uh, expected not to the standard expected uh, so those are reasons concerned a person being uh, attacked at time based upon his doubt his memory and at time based upon his adala his credibility that relates to his deen and his character. So with this concern, the person knows that you know, this matter regarding criticism on rate is something the ulama of Hadith and the ulama of Islam agreed upon is something which is jais. That's something which is jais to be done uh, regarding verifying concerning matters. I mentioned in ja'akum fasikun binaba'in fatabayyanu. As I mentioned in Surah Al-Hujarat, that uh, verse 6, uh, in ja'akum fasikun, if a person who said to be a fasik, uh, that he comes with naba, with information, fatabayyanu, and some narration, fatathabbatu. So some narration that, uh, so that hadith mentioned regarding that one to verify and to clarify. So this means that's you no know, checking on information that comes to one. And you have uh, other cases, but uh, overall regarding concerning that uh, it is something which is agreed upon regarding that uh, this is something which is permissible, and uh, but also in line regarding concerning the person who wish to uh, critique of narrators, then uh, this is something which is a very serious science. It requires a certain type of uh, skill set regarding the person who is equipped regarding those things. So, regarding concerning the shurut, regarding those people whom they are called, regarding mujarrah, wa ma'addil, concerning those people who can criticize others and those who can approve of others, then there's rules regarding who are those people who are equipped and who are those people who are qualified and who are those people who are specialists in this particular field. So not everyone who speaks about others, then their word is accepted. So the person also for their word to be accepted, they have to fulfill a certain criteria. To be said to be of those people, Umar of the ulama, that their words are taken in this particular chapter or in this particular bab regarding Ajjal wa Ta'adil. And uh, so as for the next matter to be discussed concerning books that relates to this particular topic. So books that relates to, if wish, one wish to know concerning matters relating to uh, a narrator, then we are the source that we can refer back to in getting such information. So you'll find that many books have been written regarding this particular book, uh, this particular topic of those books that relates to this particular topic regarding knowing concerning of the what narrators. We have books that are specific regarding uh, books that have been written in different forms, different ways. So of those of the of the ulama who have written that they cannot gather books regarding and compile books regarding narrators who are said to be thikat, or those who are said to be du'afa, or those that are uh, that are general, that discuss concerning the narrators in general, whether they are thikat or not. So I can answer us concerning uh, books on that topic and the manage of the ulama regarding that. As for books, specific book on this particular topic that we mentioned, that uh, as for those books, that we'll find that one, the book of a thikat. So books that are specific regarding a thikat, narrators who are said to be thikat, then we have of those books, uh, the book of uh, Abu Hatim Ibn Hibban. So the book of Ibn Hibban that is referred to as Thiqat. So uh, Ibn Hibban, and this book is in print, 
another of those books, Marifatu al Thiqat. So, Marifatu al Thiqat, that is written by Al Ijli. So, Al Ijli also have a book that is called Marifatu al Thiqat. Also, another book uh, in this particular area is called Tariq Asma al Thiqat. Tariq Asma al Thiqat. And this book, uh, this book is written by Ibn Shaheen. So, Ibn Shaheen written uh, that, uh, that's his book. Uh, so, all those books that we mentioned are examples of books that are specific regarding al Thiqat. Next, regarding concerning that uh, books that are specific, uh, that are books that are more general. So books that are general that contains narrators that are said to be thikat and those that are said to be duafa. So as for books that are general that combine between thikat and duafa, of those books we have uh, Tariq al Khabir by Imam Bukhari rahimullah. So Imam Bukhari rahimullah that he has a book that is called Tariq al Tariq al Khabir, and also he has a book called uh, and other books. But uh, of those books that are general concerning at tariq al-Kabir by Imam al-Bukhari rahimullah that are general. Uh, another book that is there is the book of Kitab al-Jarh wa Ta'adil. Al-Jarh wa Ta'adil by uh, Abu Hatim, by Ibn Abi Hatim, by Ibn Abi Hatim, al-Jarh wa Ta'adil. Those book, um, those, both those two books are in print and those are the two books of those two books that are considered to be of the important book regarding that field of the ulama of old. Also the book of uh, Tariq by Yahya ibn Ma'in. So the book of Tariq by Yahya ibn Ma'in. Uh, so those are the books that are, are general on that particular topic. Another books that came after. So those are the books regarding the book, those three books, Tariq al-Kabir by Ibn Bukhari, Ajjar wa Ta'adil by Ibn Abi Hatim, and also at Tariq by uh, Yahya ibn Ma'in. Of those books that covers, that discuss concerning narrators in general. Uh, and also you'll find the books of uh, Ahmed ibn Hanbal that are called Suwalat, where he's asked question of those books of Suwalat, Suwalat from Ahm, uh, regarding Ahmed ibn Hanbal that also he discussed many narrators regarding Jar wa Ta'adil. Uh, so those books are more general and uh, we'll come back. Uh, so uh, also we have books that are specific regarding Duafa, books that are author that try to compile, compile regarding narrators who are said to be Duafa. Of those books, we have uh, a Duafa as saghir wa matrukin, so a book by Imam Bukhar rahimullah. So Imam Bukhar rahimullah as a book called al duafa wa matrukin, uh, that is called so that verb that duafa as saghir. That uh, also in print, also we have al nasai Imam al nasai he has a book al duafa wa matrukin. Also, uh, others regarding al duafa uh, by uh, a, uh, others that have written regarding al duafa al kabir by Okaili, so Al Duafa Al Kabir by Okaili, and also Majruheen by Ibn Hibban. So, and also another book which is called Majruheen by Ibn Hibban, also a book that covers concerning Duafa as the old, and also another book that is called Al Kamil fi Duafa Al Rijal. Al Kamil fi Duafa Al Rijal. So, and that is by Ibn Adi, and also a book by Darakutni. So, Imam Al Darakutni Rahimullah has a book called Al Duafa Wal Matrukin. Al Duafa by so these are some of those works that relates to that particular topic concerning Ar-Riwat. So uh, the ulama rahimullah mentioned regarding concerning of the main books, of the old books. So these are the books that we have mentioned are the books we consider to be of the, fundam and of, uh, the fundamental books, the more important books of this matter. So the books of usul regarding narrators go back to some of the books that we had mentioned. So those are the, the primary books that a person use as a reference regarding matters pertaining to Jar wa Ta'adil. So as for other books that have come after regarding this particular topic, so you have books that have come after regarding this particular topic, and of the more uh, renowned of those two books that we find uh, this book. So we have uh, this book of those books that are written, and uh, this book it is called Tahdib al-Kamal fi Asma al-Rijal. Tahdib Al Kamal fi Asma al Rijal, and this book it comes in eight volumes. This is one of the prints, so it has uh, two prints: the normal size print, and then we have these larger size print that uh, this book uh, is in. So uh, with this particular print, that uh, the style of the author Rahim of the of uh, the so this is the book. So this book again, sorry, that is called Tahdib Asma, Tahdib Al Kamal fi Asma al Rijal, and the author of this book is Hafiz Jamal al Din. Abi Hajjaj Yusuf Al Mizzi. So Imam Al Mizzi Rahimullah, who is one of those uh, renowned of the ulama of hadith regarding this particular book and this work, 
is one of the most uh, uh, well-known work regarding this particular uh, matter regarding Arruat. So this particular book that uh, Al-Mizzi, this particular uh, book is regarding concern that, no, that um, he captures and discusses regarding Arruat in Kutubu Sitta and some of their, and their other books. So regarding concerning that Kutubu Sitta, Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Nasai, Ibn Majah, and related books of theirs that he, concern, that he covers concerning Arruat of those uh, books. So in this print, kind of somewhat, how it is uh, uh, that utter that uh, so you have a on both sides, so you have the names on both sides, so the book is large size print, so things are mentioned, small print, but on both sides. I will mention that there's another print of the original print, which is over 30 something volumes. So the original print of this book is in 30 something volume. That's, uh, and this is now the second print of this book where I try to put it in a large size uh, and use uh, as much uh, uh, to match as mine space. So regarding concern this particular book that uh, for example the style author that you mentioned for example you mentioned Ayn. So we just mentioned concerning Muhammad, Ibn Jubir, Ibn Mut'im, Ibn Adi, Ibn Nawfil, Ibn Abdul Manaf. So I mentioned that Ibn Qusay al Qurashi, and to the end of a name that's, uh, that uh, he mentioned here that uh, and he mentioned Ayn. So that's front of the name that uh, at, the, at the beginning of his name he mentioned Ayn. Ayn meaning that is Hadith is found in Kutubu Sitta. That uh, this narrator, that is hadith can be found, is one of those who are mentioning Kutub as Sitta. So that's concerning this particular book that uh, regarding our what? So uh, this particular book that uh, uh, was uh, a book, the original book was taught by Abdul Ghani al Makhdisi, one of the ulama of the 600 Hijri who died. Uh, Abdul Ghani al Makhdisi, one of the ulama who also regarding hadith. That he wrote a book that is called Kamal fi Asma Rijal. So he wrote a book Kamal fi Asma Rijal uh, that also revolves around, which is the origin of this book. Then Mizzi Rahimahullah came along and kind of somewhat removed certain things and also added certain information. So thing that um, Imam Al Mizzi Rahimahullah that he uh, removed, uh, deleted from the work of uh, the original work of uh, Abdul Ghani Al Makhdisi. And then also he added additional information that he thought was necessary and important. But this is an important work regarding uh, regarding Rijal of Kutubu Sitta. Then this will be of those works that a person will use as a, a reference. But also be able to refer back to the original books. To be, uh, then also another work regarding Kutubu Sitta. The Rijal of Kutubu Sitta. That we find concerning that this book, a second book. Which uh, this book is called Tahdib uh, Tahdib. Tahdib at Tahdib. And this is by Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani. So this work is by uh, Imam al-Hafiz Abi uh, Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani, rahimullah, who is known as Abi Fadl Ahmed Ibn Ali Ibn Muhammad Ibn Hajar al-Asqalani al-Shafi, rahimullah, who died uh, 852 al Hijri. Uh, so this is concerning that uh, this book, you have many prints, but this is the more recent of the prints and the better of the prints regarding this particular book. So this is the best print that we are uh, regarding this particular book or work around this book, which was concerning that um, you find that uh, students in the university that uh, all kind of somewhat uh, divided the book of uh, Ibn Hajj Rahimullah and did as uh, thesis regarding their IS there, but, uh, degree studies. And then uh, eventually concerning that uh, all their works were put into one, uh, into this work, into a voluminous work that is uh, of 15 volumes. So this book, Tahdib at Hadib by Ibn Hajar Rahimahullah. This is the best print that we have to date. And uh, uh, it is in 15 volumes with a person also, Ibn Hajar Rahimahullah. That the same thing that, the same uh, that uh, have uh, added certain things that were missed by Mizzi or corrected certain things that were mentioned by Mizzi that needed to be corrected. So that's concerning that the ulama can somewhat be, uh, uh, contribute, uh, um, building on the works of others. And... Uh, refining certain things that when the works of others. So that's concerning those two works. And uh, for the person concerning studying hadith, that would be uh, books that would be for the person regarding uh, knowing concerning Rijal Kutubi Sita, they will be of references that are used, but in the person also able can source back to the original books. So the original books that we had mentioned regarding Ilmu known of concerning our reward will revolve around the books that we had mentioned before. The books of Thikat by Ibn Iban, 
the book of Ijli, also of those concerning the books of Tariq al-Kabir by Imam Bukhari, and also Tariq al-Sahir uh, by Imam R. Tar uh, uh, Duafa al-Sahir by Imam Bukhari, the works of uh, Nasa'i, also Al-Majruheen by Ibn Iban, the book of Duafa by Okayli, also the book of uh, Kamil by Ibn Adi, and also the book Jar wa Adil by Ibn Abi Hatim. So those will be the primary books, source book regarding, known, about, known concerning, about uh, reward, the person in studying narrators must go back to those books and not just rely upon those who have quoted from these books. But a person must able can re reference back to those books to get a, uh, a uh, the, uh, to see as to what was mentioned in those books regarding our reward. So that's concerning those matters that relates to books of Jarwa Ta'adil. Uh, and as in the sense of, as the author mentioned, knowing, identifying our reward. Sikhat, and also those who are to Afa. Then he mentioned regarding at Tarjia. Then he mentioned regarding and Yuraja in the sense of at times you might find a narrator where there's some discussion between the ulama regarding him. So as he mentioned of those points regarding that you might find narrators, that you might find there's a discussion between the ulama regarding uh, that particular narrator. So regarding the mention that Manik uh, Tulifa, Fihi, those who are, there's a, dis there's a disagreement between the ulama. Those who hold him to be Sikhat and those who mention that he is Daif. Then they are certain, so you have that uh, information that seems to be contradicting or different information that seems to be opposing regarding that particular narrator. Those who mention that he's Sikha and those who mention that he's not, he's Daif. Then what are, then there are certain principles and guidelines that one has to follow regarding how to come to a conclusion. So that's concern that will be discussed in the books that goes through concerning the Qawahid and Usul regarding Jadwit Adil. So the books, they have some books, now there are books that will go through those rules regarding when you have cases like this, like this, then what's the, what's the rules to be followed regarding how one comes to a final conclusion regarding those who are saying this person is praiseworthy and those who are saying the person is not the person that is uh, criticized, is daif. What is the rules and the guidelines to be followed that this will be further sort of concerning in Mujarwa Ta'adil? This will be a part, a part of the package of studying concerning Qawaid, Ilm, Wajar, uh, Tadir, and how to make Tarajir when there's a khilaf between the ulama. How to make Tarajir when there's a khilaf between the ulama regarding a particular narrator. And to bear in mind that at times, and so, so, so those are the things that one to be mindful of. So you find out more contemporary yourself, books are specific on that particular topic that will go through concerning the theory, the Qawaid and Usul, which will be the theoretical principles regarding uh, so that's concerning something that the person also study hadith. They also have to know those kawaid, those rules regarding uh, narrators in being one, identify a, a, a narrator who is said to be thikat, and do they fulfill certain criteria? Those who are said to be duafa because they uh, did not come, uh, fill, fulfill the criteria. Also those rawat who are said to be in between, those who said that they are thikat, those who are said they are daif. How the person then come to a conclusion, and also at Ratna, so is knowing those things that a person have to be mindful of in looking at concerning our narrators, and as that will impact regarding the person coming to a final conclusion regarding hadith being said to be uh, the rule that the appropriate rule that goes to the hadith. So that's concerned that particular matter. With that, insha Allah, that uh, we'll stop here, and uh, we'll continue regarding what uh, comes next regarding this particular thesis by Ibn Lakin Rahimullah that I refer to as. التذكرة في العلوم الحديث وبالله تعالى توفيق وهذه السبيل والآخرة ونحمد الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته